it's uh it's not quite barley time but it's time to get ready for barley look at them fields turning color way out there but from sitting the old girl's got uh, a dead battery so we're going to give her a little jump yeah so get her hooked up plug them in so we'll let that charge for a minute we got 12.2 volts, so let's see if it starts. That's a no. Okay, we'll let it sit for a little while. All right, we're gonna hook her up. We got the head here. I went to start it and I forgot to get the GoPro out, but I'll get it on another one. I forgot how big this thing's cab is. My, uh, my seat needs to come up. Let's put it down in the first gear. set it down, latch everything on, and then we'll lift it up and put the block in. Then we can go underneath this thing and work on it. All right, well, I didn't film the process, but we got all those guards put on the combine that I showed you. I probably put it earlier in this video. Um, and we are making dust out the back of this machine. Let's see in the mirror. So, lots of buttons, lots of information, lots of barley making it happen <clears throat> so we're going to make a pass around that's a tobacco field we're going to make a pass down and come back that side so we can actually spread water on the neighbor's tobacco because it doesn't look very happy right about now so just to show you a brief intro to what exactly i got going on here um the real spinning i got an adjustment for the speed i can speed it up slow it down this is auto reel speed head speed auto head speed this is stuff to adjust the head, road mode, which basically disables harvest features to go out the road. Right here I got up and up and down on the head, auto head height, up and down the reel, front and back on the reel. I can tilt the head, put my auger out, start my auger, emergency stop, park brake, gear shift, throttle, upper sieve, lower sieve, rotor speed, fan speed, Sorry, that's rotor speed. That is um, tongue cave opening. Um, this map is supposed to be giving me yield. It's not working for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it is recording. It says we got 116 right now. Um, and that is, oh, that's why. Hold on, let's change that to moisture. It's still not showing me my yield, whatever. Um, but this being lit solid means that I'm three quarters full in my bin. It also tells me here, this is tailings. Um, I can make another video sometime explaining how the combine works. Tailings essentially is the stuff that is, uh, I don't know how to explain it really quickly. Oh, she's loading up on me. But basically it's, it's too dirty to be green so it rejects it and sends it back up. This is the loss out the back. So if I'm driving too much or overloading the sieves, that shoots up. Um, yeah, rotor loss. Here's my flow up my clean grain elevator fan speed, rotor speed, current weight. So I have 10,500 pounds in the back. Um, and bushels, that's the spreader speed that's on the back blowing the stuff out. Um, yeah, so lots of information, tons of things to keep track of. But um, yeah, we just uh, got to take our time. Some guys have auto steer, I don't. I got a steer for me um, we got something going on over here I'm here talking and not paying attention better make sure it's actually cutting it is cutting I think we got a clump of dirt caught up uh oh now it thinks I'm doing corn 
Well, that's annoying. I gotta redraw my field lines, apparently. No, that was that was this end all right so we found we blew a hose and <laughs> yeah it's not fun it's down in here if I can get on there <clears throat> this doggone thing keeps moving Tyler can you like hold it back somehow then why does it move it's not supposed to move. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, is that supposed to move? No. Well, okay, there should be a... Oh. All right, so since we can't, no way, no how, that get the hose that drives that loose because there's no room to swing these wrenches and I have that jacked all the way apart, I'm going to sit it on the ground, take pressure, tension off of this. I'm going to pull this pin out and lift it and it should split it away. We can get into it. Maybe. Okay, now what do we got? Hey, look at all the room we got to work in there. So it's this hose, it goes down and it comes back up right here. And it has a hole worn in it. Well, we got it broke loose, but I dropped my wrench down in there. And Tyler don't know where it went. <laughs> say, say it again. There's more problems now than we started with. Do you want to show the viewers the problem? Not only is that loose, but the whole motor's loose. More problems. Hi. Where is it? It's uh. Is it there? Flip it. Is it? Or is it? I hope it's this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's coming out right. Right there.